Yo you guys, what is going on? It's Blazonary here. And today in this video, I got a big ass streetwear haul. Let's get into it. Alright guys, I am kicking it off on this lovely beautiful Thursday with another haul video for you guys. So in this haul video, we're not going to be doing sneakers. In fact, there are some sneakers, right? There's some sneakers, but we're also going to be adding in some clothing elements. So we've got some streetwear here. We've also got a ton of fan mail too for the end of the video. Primarily, this video is going to be a bunch of stuff that I bought. But I'm finally feeling better. I'm ready to show you guys some more fire stuff. You know, I'm trying to save up some really good content for this weekend. So be sure to check back on the channel this weekend and every other coming week. And if you guys want to do that you have to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then once you are subscribed there's gonna be a little bell you gotta hit that bell so you get some notifications from me every time that I post a brand new video you also can stay connected with me on my snapchat and Instagram which is in the bottom left hand corner of the screen right here so be sure you guys go do that if you want to keep up with me uh, I prefer Instagram right now because snapchat Taka hit the fan on that whole operation So still go add me. I mean I do post on there as much But you know and I'm also wearing that really oversized like purple box logo that also is messed up if you walk really closely So if you guys are new to the channel and you're like what the hell's wrong with this box logo? This is like a really old box logo and I bought it for two hundred dollars it was a really good steal. Why not? You barely tell. And, you know, if I come out of frame a little bit, you can tell it's a little ridiculous. But in frame? Nah, you guys don't know a thing. First package, first package, first package. There's a few good options. You know what? I think we're just going to start the video off strong. I think we're going to go ahead and do this one. So this is from my homie Anthony. And my homie Anthony had a YouTube channel as well. But it got hacked like a really long time ago. And I used to, you know, I used to have him on the channel and everything. in some videos uh, when I go up to New York, I do some stuff with him. He had this item. And he was like, listen, like, you want it? Like, uh. I'll give you a good deal. So I was like, all right, cool. So you give me a good deal. So open it. Now, a lot of packages got here today. So it's super awesome because I can go ahead and make this video straight away for you guys. We didn't even have to do any waiting to get the stuff in. So here we go. Woo. All right. Check it out right here. Here it is. Right here, we have a Supreme Camo Crew Neck. This, I believe, an older crew neck. I gotta do a little bit of research. A few inches later. So yeah, this is actually a really old hoodie. This hoodie came out five years ago in the fall winter season of 2013. I gotta say, for a condition of it being in five years old, it's not bad at all. The only thing is we have some slight fading on it around the top and the mid chest area. And there's also a little bit of discoloration on the inside, uh, just from obviously being worn. It is a five year old hoodie. The homie Anthony hooked it up for a great price, so I'm gonna do him a little bit of a favor. If you guys wanna go peep his channel, I'll leave a link down below in the description for you guys uh, he makes some great videos it's a shame what happened to him he's also a really good friend of mine uh, we kind of grew up together in New York when I lived there so overall shout out to Anthony gave me a good deal on this I am excited to add this one to the collection because this one's a little more outlandish than the other hoodies that I have all the other ones are pretty basic and you know they're not as they're not as colorful and popping as this one so thank you Anthony I appreciate it next up let's do let's do something outlandish I got this Amazon box and I'm gonna open it for you guys it's kind of what I get on the day to day. See here what I ordered. Beautiful. We have uh, two HDMI things for my TV. Uh, useless to show on the vlog. And since we're at it, we do have another Amazon one. Might as well do it, I guess, right? Oh, very nice. They use this big ass box for these little ass things. Oh, and a, and a roll of shipping tape. Okay, great. So in this Amazon box, we have a screen protector, we have a case, and we have a roll of shipping paper. But you guys are probably wondering, Blazing Day, you already have, you already have a case. You already got this nice blue yard case you got from the homie Frey Customs over at Zaptio. Yeah, you already got that stuff. Well, your boy done upgraded. Your boy done hit the upgrade switch. And I, I personal decision here, I kind of was just feeling good upgrading my phone and like the iPhone 7 plus I love the plus model the iPhone did great things this is an awesome phone it did great things for me great memories having this for about a year however it's time your boy got the upgrade you guys were clowning me about it in a video a little while back where I just quickly showed you my phone I had the 7 plus you guys were like me you got that you don't get the X yet so I upgraded early thanks oh crack this one open how nice how lovely it's the silver 256 gigabyte iPhone X. I want to see what kind of high beast cases I can get for this thing. They're probably going to be outrageous. Since like no companies are really making iPhone cases like that yet for the X. Ooh, this thing is really pretty. Check that out. That looks super awesome. I'm really glad. Yee! 
And for those of you that say iPhone sucks, I mean, I don't know what else to tell you, man. You're not going to sway me. I had an Android from when I was like 10 to like 15, 16, and then I got the iPhone and I never am going back. All right, in this box right here, we have what I believe, what I believe in this box is two pairs of sneakers from the homies over at Stadium Goods. I could be wrong, and I could be completely wrong, and be disappointed, because that's kind of what I'm expecting, but I believe that's exactly what this is. Oh! I think you guys should get the first look with me. Oh! 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 Boy! Your boy done mastered it. There we go. Oh my god. It's about freaking time. Let me go ahead and tell you guys. I've been waiting. I want to go ahead and show the one that I'm most excited for first. I'm not even going to lie. I've been literally on the hunt for this sneaker for over a year and a half, if not two years at this point. This sneaker right here. This sneaker right here is a sneaker that kind of brings me back into my old hype beast days when the Supreme Air Forces just came out. The released in the red, the white, and the black colorways. Your boy has only got the white colorway. And I mean, as you guys can see, I mean, the camera makes them look beautiful, but they're all scratched up, as you guys can see. The wear shows on this pair. However, I now have the red pair. I'm only in hunt for the black pair still. And I mean, I'm just overall excited. I mean, just take a look at how beautiful the sneaker is. You have that awesome leather on that Nike swoosh right there. Can't go wrong with that Supreme branding in the back. You got the 94 etched into that back as well. In the front right here, you have that iconic Air Force silhouette. The whole sneaker is the iconic Air Force silhouette, but the beautiful straps, the world famous high straps, you obviously just can't go wrong on that. They also include a white strap in here if you guys want that and you don't want it to say uh, that. And then this right here is a Stadium Goods tag. So I got these sneakers from Stadium Goods right here and uh, they come with this nice tag. So shout out to Stadium Goods. That's that's a really cool idea. I'm just happy. I need to undead stock them and post a fire photo. Uh, I gotta see. I could probably just do that red crew neck over there. I'm super excited about these. Just a great sneaker to add to the collection. And then this one too. I know I'm a little late to the game. I'm actually really late to the game. I'm sure. Uh, these were kind of these are kind of old news. But you boy had to cop them anyways. Just to I don't know. Just to say that I have them at this point. Um, let's see. We have a is that cause Jordan dust bag. I think the dust bag's super dope. And then in here as well you have the cause and Jordan branding collab information. On the front you have the air, the XX air, cause logo, and you have the beautiful gray cause joints right here. I honestly have to say I've never been, I never fell into the cause hype. Um, I will admit that my hype got the best of me on this one and decided that I wanted to pick up the cause fours as another sneaker for the collection. Overall, the sneaker is beautiful. You have that gray upper on the top as well as those off gray laces. You have that really interesting fur where like the panels would be. On the bottom, you have that translucent icy sole with the cause hands on it. All over the shoe itself are just the etched in cause logos and hands and eyes overall the sneaker is really really cool I do want to try a glow test so we're gonna we're gonna put these right up to the to the box and we're gonna give them a quick glow test that is a glowy soul boy check that out it really does glow really nice too and that's just from lights in my room imagine if the actual Sun hit that Ooh, that'd be nice so I gotta say yes I bit into the hype Yes, I am a fan of the Cause sneaker. I am glad that I own it, and I'm honestly excited to rock them. Uh, let's move it on to the next box. Right here, another interesting surprise from the homies over at Puma. Puma has just been sending your boy so much gear. If you guys didn't know, Puma actually just had their 50th anniversary of their classic suede sneaker, and uh, they're not paying me to say this. This is not an ad. They just send these to my house, and I was like, that's awesome. John Carlo, the... Hashtag suede is turning 50. The golden suede celebrates a timeless streetwear legend for all time. Hashtag Puma. Thank you, Puma. And this is the sneaker that Puma sent. Now, personally, I'm not a fan of the gold colorway. However, the shoe is itself as a model, as what it's done for sneakers in general, kind of the low cut sneaker. Congratulations on this turning 50. It's just your boy's not a fan of that all gold color. This would be more suitable on like my mom or like, you know, a girl, something like that. But if they made these in like a black or if they had these in an all white pair with that black on it, you already know I would appreciate those heavily. But in all seriousness though, thank you Puma for sending me these out. I'm not going to be wearing these in fact i'm just going to keep them on ice for as long as i can to commemorate that the fact that these are the 50th anniversary of the model and i'm sure that's going to have some value over time and the laces 
The laces are certainly cool. They got a super, super nice gold lace as well as that inside. That's honestly really dope. Puma, shout out to you guys for paying attention to the details. Oh, and check that out too. It says 2018 on the side. And then on the other sneaker, it says 1968. So those were all the packages that I received at my house. And now we got a little bit of time to go and do some fan mail. Uh, a lot of these are letters. In fact, they're all letters. So what I'm gonna do is, I have so many, I've probably got like 500 in there. What I'm gonna do, not every video, but like when I get the chance, you feel me? Like this is a good video to get the chance. I'm gonna quickly just show everyone's fan art and I'm just gonna say their name because I appreciate it all. You're all gonna see your artwork on the fan art wall. It's just, it takes a lot of time to open them up in the vlogs and of course I cut the part where I read the letter and everything I always read the letters and see what you guys have going on in your life you know saying what's up to me I appreciate that you're taking your time out of your day to send me something so I'm gonna take the time out of my day to read it and appreciate it oh and before I do that um there's this package that I got in my PO box uh, pretty recently and it's from it's from a brand at 3d retro and they, I remember like two years ago, I saw this like sketch of this girl and drawn and portrayed as an air mag. And I guess they, they made the figurine in real life. And like, it's a, it's a real figure. So check that out. We have a Nike mag girl that's gonna go right in the display case of the mag memorabilia. And the box too is custom. I really like that, that looks super clean. You can best believe that I'm gonna put that in there. So shout out to 3D Retro. Thank you, Jack, Tyler, Joseph, you Mason, Jonathan, thank you Tommy, thank you Elias, for Braden, for Mike, thank you Sam, thank you Gail for Marcos for the letter, thank you Mason for the fan art, thank you Grace for the keychain, fan art, and letter. Thank you Ramsey, thank you Rahul, thank you Jacob for the letter. Forrest wrote to me from his school. He had a couple questions. Will I ever collab with another Hypebeast YouTuber that's not from SneakerCon? Yes. What motivated to keep me going at the start? Honestly, I just have a passion for filming myself. I know that sounds really weird, but ever since I was eight, I had a YouTube channel, so that's kind of how that went. Same school, somebody wrote me another letter. Gonna answer some questions. What do I like to do when I'm not filming? I like to eat a lot of junk food. I like to play video games. I love hanging out with my friends. I don't know, I'm a little bit of a troublemaker. What made you decide to make your YouTube channel. My friend actually suggested I should upload a sneaker collection to YouTube. This person wrote this as their name, one step at a time for the pin. Thank you, Dylan, for the fan art. All right, Jordan and Blake, I will be sending you both back letters for your computer class. However, I am not going to be doing this every time. So if it's an assignment and if it's a grade and you guys are getting graded and, and, you, and your grade is for me to write back and I don't write back because I don't see it after months and months, I'm sorry. This one isn't too bad though. This is only a month ago. So hopefully they didn't get a bad grade if because uh, I didn't respond quick enough. However, I'll be doing that right now. Thank you, David, for the letter. And lastly, thank you, Jacob, for the letter. So, I wanted to go ahead and say that uh, this was an awesome unboxing. I had a lot of fun doing it, and uh, just overall, the items that we got are super dope. Shout out to everyone who sent some stuff to the VO box. Uh, I'm gonna ask if you'd hold it off for a little bit. We got a lot of stuff to get through in there, but um, that's all I have to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great night day. Whenever you're watching, Come back to the channel very soon uh, to see some awesome new videos coming soon. And I'll catch you guys in another one. It's Blazonary. I'm out, guys. Stay positive.